South Pacific is a six-part series. It's the ultimate portrait of life in the world's largest ocean. Aiming to be ambitious, definitive, and perhaps show the surprising side of a place we might think we know well. well when you think about landmark series, they really have to do two things. One, they have to show new places and new animals. Or two, show old and familiar stuff in new ways. And I think on South Pacific we do both those things. I think everyone has a, a view of the South Pacific as this idyllic place where the sun always shines and the palm trees sway in a gentle breeze. And what this series shows is, yes, of course it is like that. It has those spectacular coral reefs, those South Sea islands, but it also has a whole range of big surprises. It stretches all the way to the sub-Antarctic, so there are animals here that have to cope with snow and ice. There are fiery volcanoes, some of the most explosive in, in the world. It's a really surprising and fascinating place. It's got a lot of elements that uh, our audience, our natural history audience, would particularly enjoy. It's a visual feast. There's some fantastic sights of tropical islands and turquoise seas. So, I mean, that's something that people would expect. There's great spectacles. We filmed you know, a million penguins on a remote island in the vast south of South Pacific um, on Macquarie Island. There are people stories, fascinating tribal stories. There are great geological events. We filmed an undersea volcano from the air for the first time. We filmed some astonishing shots of waves breaking on, a, on an island in Micronesia massive waves breaking both from above and underwater. We filmed surfers coming through them. I mean, they're, they're astonishing shots using a piece of technology that nobody's ever used before. It just has a lot of elements that I think a, a documentary watching audience would really enjoy. Well, I think there are a number of unique selling points for the South Pacific. Not least, it's this vast, vast region that I truly believe very few people know anything about. Now, anybody out there watching this, just if you ever see a globe, just take, a, take the globe and just spin it so that the middle of the Pacific is in front of your nose and you can barely see the land on either side. I mean, it's a view of the world that nobody would be familiar with, but that was our region, this vast region, which you could fit the whole of the world's land masses into and still have enough space for North Africa. That's how large it is. I think audiences will be genuinely surprised when they see South Pacific at how diverse and fascinating this region is. It's not just the stereotype. I mean, there's just so much there that I think people would find intriguing. Yes, we don't have lions chasing wildebeest. We don't have big mammals, there aren't many. But what it lacks in the bison and buffalo spectacle is more than made up by just intriguing and very surprising moments. Yeah, I'm